Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shining Plays. Welcome back to Byzantium here in EU4 Cossacks 1.15.1. Still no war with the Ottoman Turks. It's been 23 years and no war with the Turks. That's amazing. I think they're scared of my alliances. And they should be, too. Poland has a union over Lithuania. Yes, they do. Okay, max relations with Austria. Can we marry? Uh, we cannot marry. Darn. Oh well. You know what? Our claims are going to be disappearing soon, aren't they? Well, in seven years, our claims are going to start going away. That's how long we've been at peace with these guys. Wow. But I do believe we can declare on them in about two years' time, because we're at nine favors with Poland. Yeah. So Poland's almost ready to go to war. The problem is, my two allies, Poland and Hungary, they're both Tech 4. And the Ottomans are Tech 5. And I'm Tech 6. <laughs> Why are my allies so backwards on Tech? I don't get it. Ah, I can rival the Ottomans again. Yes! We have grown stronger! We can now rival the Ottoman Turk! All right, what is this shit? Piss off the Ottomans, lose Diplo, or lose Prestige. Um, yeah, piss off the Ottomans. See if I care. Oh, you know what? Let me send them an insult. Hey, hey, dipshits. Yo. Uh, insult. Yeah! Take that, Turks. I'm gonna embargo you, too. Ooh, Persia almost wants... Look at that! Persia almost, almost wants an alliance. Political crisis. Lose stability or lose legit? Um, I think I'll lose the stability. Because we can get that back. What's it cost? 90? Cost 90. Just get it back. When is our modifier gone? Reputation comes back in July. So in July, I might be able to get this alliance. Ho oh, ho 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 Well, maybe. It's going to be close. Oh, that's going to be glorious if it's possible. I mean, he wouldn't join unless he... Do you want land? I could bring him in on, on uh, land. Uh, he does. He does want Ottoman land. Look at that. Well, I tell you what, Persia, I will gladly bring you into a war against the Turks. And I'll give you that one province, if it'll make you happy. I'll do it. I'll do it. I will. I will. I'll do it. I want all of this shit. You can have those two, though, and that one. Whatever. There you go. See? See, we can be friends. I'll take this, and you get that one. Perfect. Everybody happy. May, June. We're just waiting for that diplomatic reputation modifier to go away. It should shift into a positive number because our reputation should be pretty good. We have an advisor to help it out. It's going to go from like negative five to probably like plus five, which means we can get the alliance, I think. Right? Maybe. End of the month? Probably end of the month. Yes. Done. Done. Oh, so good. So glorious. Look at all those rivals. Everyone fucking hates the Auto-Turks. Everyone hates the Turks. It's too bad we can't get Austria. And we can't get Aragon either. Alright, so now we're just waiting for favors with Poland. And I would love if Poland would get fucking Tech 5. Miserable little bastards. 
Oh my god, Pers Persia's Tech 3. Ah! <laughs> my allies, it it's like... It's like as soon as they ally the player, they immediately say, okay, okay, everyone, we've allied the player. That means we have to make sure we don't tech up our military, don't take military ideas, don't roll good generals, don't fight well in battle, and above all else, make sure when there's war going on that you either hide in your capital and don't do dick it, don't, don't do anything, or make sure you fight with like little tiny stacks that are guaranteed to get squished and just continually roll in little stacks so that every single battle is a loss. That's the plan. But if you're not allied to the player, go to Tech 7, you know, 10 years early, uh, build a billion cannons, put forts everywhere, and just crush the player. And that's how it works, right? Belladonk, thanks for resubbing, man. Put some love in chat for Mr. and or Mrs. Belladonk. Yeah, if ally equals player, then all of this shit, yes. Is it worth keeping the fort in Moria? Yes. I don't have it turned on, though. It's definitely worth keeping. Because it'll it'll turn on on its own when the war begins. All right, we've got our 10 favors. Y'all ready for this shit? Is it time? Is it time? Oh, man, it feels like it's time. It feels like it's time. Oh god, my allies' tech are so garbage. Why are you all tech four and tech three? <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Wait for Poland to tech up. Yeah, but how long will that take? Like, I have no indication of how long that'll take. All I know is he's tech four. Everyone that he borders is tech five. Even Danzig is tech five. Poland's like, eh, tech four is fine. Economic? No ideas. Okay. Well, economic is certainly not. Look at this. Five, five, four. Four, five, four. <laughs> Come on, tech up. Uh, I'm going to send our navy up here so we can dock up as soon as the war starts. Start funding the army, everyone. And get rid of Diplo Reputations guy. Just too expensive. Shit. Shit. Low res. Thanks for subbing. Put some love in chat for Mr. and our Mrs. Low res. Is it low res or low res? Like low resolution. I don't know. I don't pretend to understand Twitch chat. Ugh, losing half a duck in a month. Uh-oh, Persia just joined a war. All right, so Persia's not gonna help us. Oh, wow, Karmon's about to be full of next. Okay, well, Persia's not gonna help anymore. <laughs> the timing, everybody, the timing. It probably doesn't matter. I think we just do it without Persia. Let's fucking do it. Okay, who... Or what do we declare for? Do I declare for a Dirn? For his capital? I have to decide to go for a Conquest or Reconquest. The difference being Conquest, 75% less aggressive expansion for taking these four provinces that I have claims on. Reconquest would be... 25% aggressive expansion for taking these five provinces that I have cores on. So cores versus claims, really. Reconquest. All right, reconquest it is. We'll go for Adirn. Make it happen, boys. Boys and girls. Conquest on something without a fort on it. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. He deleted the fort in Coachelli. Damn it. Why would you delete that fort? I love that fort. That is the best fort. He deleted the fort in Coachelli. You motherfucker. Ottomans. Did you delete all of your forts? Hold on. What? The Ottomans have deleted every single one of their forts. All of them. The only fort they have is in their capital. No. They deleted their capital fort. 
What? What? Game, please. Please, game, please. What the... What the fuck? No one else did that. No one else did this. They deleted every single... Does anyone have any idea why this happened? I'm at a loss, folks. I don't get it. Okay, I'm just going to declare for... I guess I'll declare for Turhala. Because that's right next to me. I can just build a Merc. Just go take it out right away. Get ticking war score. I... I don't... I don't get it. Anyway, get my allies in here. We're going to declare Reconquest for Turhala. And, uh, yeah. Let's party. Slow down time to speed two. Let's get the army... I think we'll go straight to the capital and just get it sieged down as soon as possible. Why did they delete all of their forts? I don't understand. So this is the war. Ottomans, Tunis, Clemson, Morocco. I mean... What the fuck are Tunis, Clemson, and Morocco going to do? I don't know. Um, and on our side, we have Lithuania, Poland, and Hungary. Not Persia, because, I don't know, Persia's crazy. Persia joined some other war. Independence. Hey, subsidies from Austria. Thank you, Austria. You're the best. Uh, let's dock up the navy in Lika. Just mothball them. Won't need our navy where we're going. Get the war target siege down. Why did he he deleted every single fort? I don't I don't understand it. How does that make any sense? How is that a good idea for the AI to delete all of their forts? Boggles the mind. It truly does. Just siege the capital? Yeah, well, the thing is, he has allies, right? So yes, the Ottomans don't have any forts. So we're going to get tons of war score for sieging his only fort, the capital. However, Morocco, Tunis, Tlemcen, they all have forts. I can see two forts in Tunis and the capital, so that's three forts. Four, five in Tlemcen, six, seven, eight. There's eight forts down there, and I really don't want to go down there and siege all that shit. If my allies want to, great, but I'm not going to go down there. So just sieging Edirne is not going to give us, like, 90 war score. It would probably be around 40 or 50 war score if he was the only guy in the war. But because there's other allies in the war, it's not going to be, you know, tons and tons of war score. So Kandar is about to get full annexed. Oh, well, Poland is not giving land to me. Oh, that's a little disturbing. Not very nice of you, Poland. Use carpet siege strats. Um, we will. The problem is, look at this. They're just bringing in more and more troops. Here comes Tunis with 9,000 extra troops. I really don't want to carpet siege um, because these battles need to happen, right? The unfortunate thing is my allies have garbage tech. Ottomans are ahead of my allies. Mm. Now, I, I do not have to give this to my, to my ally Poland. Even though he won't hand it to me, I don't have to give it to him because I called him in on favors. I imagine Morocco and Tlemcen will also bring soldiers over. So far they have not, but I think they will eventually. Look at that stack of 60k, 40k. That is a huge army. Alright, here we go. Battle in Adirn. It's gonna happen. Put our check mark on. Help me out, broskies. 
They have a 4-2 and a 2-3 general. This is it, people. If we can win just a couple of these early battles, we'll be golden. Why did he delete all of his forts? I don't get it. He deleted every single fort. Who does that? The thing that makes even less sense is the AI gets forts for free, essentially, especially the Ottomans. Uh, the way forts work now, as far as AI paying for forts, every fort that's on a border with another nation is free. Every fort that's on a border with a wasteland is free. Every fort that's on a border with the ocean or any water is free. So the Ottomans get free forts almost on every province because most provinces they have have a sea border. Those are free forts. Most provinces they have border other nations. Those are free forts. And most provinces they have that border wastelands. For instance, if they come down here next to Bayat Asham, or even if they get down here to East Sahara, all the forts that touch these wastelands are free. So Ottoman forts typically are free. They don't pay for any of them. But they deleted every single one. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Hey, we won our battle. All right, then I think this war is a victory. Or will be. Now carpet sieging may be possible, but I'm still I'm still concerned because this is a pretty pretty big stack and they have a decent general. So I'll put it up to speed three, and I think we can just sort of chill here. Carpet siege and chill, right? That's what all the kids are doing these days. Okay, I need to siege Coachelli and Bolu because Poland has them as uh, desirables, and I don't want Poland to get those, so I'm going to go over there. I can't. Oh, right, there's actually a navy in the way. I hadn't thought of that. I can't walk over there because there's a navy in the way. Um, hmm. That's a problem. The knights are fabricating on me? Excuse me? Ugh. All right, well, that's all the sieging I can do. Unless this navy goes away. The navy might just go away, right? It's possible. Alternatively, we could... I can't build an... I was going to say we could build a navy and try to compete, but no, I'm just not going to work. We could try to get access through Crimea. Go all the way around. Crimea, do you hate me? A little bit. He hates me a little bit. Not too much, though. You know, I'm going to try it. We'll get relations up. If we can walk through Crimea, we're golden. It's just going to take a while to get over there, that's all. Oof, big battle. Big battle! Oh, wow. Um, he's occasionally bringing his navy away. I might be able to sneak through here now and then. Is that a loss? That is a loss. 70,000 versus 35,000, and it's a loss. Probably because of tech. Everyone's still tech 4? No? Hungary got tech 5. Well, then why are you losing? Damn it, Hungary. Yeah, it's a loss. It's close. Oh, it's, it might be a win. It's a win! Woo! Wow. I think Hungary teched up during the battle. <laughs> That's my guess. I might be able to drag these guys away with a distraction. Like, put a navy down here. Uh, I don't know. Tunis might engage me. I need, to, I need to distract that fleet somehow. Who's this? The nobles are upset. Eh, fuck off. There goes a Dearn. Hey, 
Hey, Poland got across. That's sort of good, but Poland's not going to give that land to me. Uh, maybe I can buy it from him. I guess I just won't take it in this war. Insult. We won't forget this. And I'll take relations. Look at that. He won't give it back. Damn it. Very bad Poland. Alright, well maybe... Maybe the Ottomans will siege it back and then I can go counter-siege it. That'd be perfect. It's not going to happen, is it? Darn it. I really wanted to take that. I need to control the Sea of Mamara. Just take every everything on this side. Yeah, well, let's see how much co how much cost that is. It's a reconquest war, so let's go ahead and do all the stuff I have cores on. Those are my cores. He won't even give me that. That's 37 war score. Those are my cores. Uh, the other stuff I want is Biga, Huda Vendigar, a 66 war score. Uh, I want either Sofia or Uskup so I can go eat Serbia. Let's go for Sofia. 74 war score. Um... And then I think I would like to get Kochali. I don't know how much that costs, though. Wait a minute, what? Look at this bullshit. Cannot be selected because Poland does not want it. Well, Paradox, if Poland doesn't want it, why won't he flip the land to me? If he doesn't want it, hand it over! Cannot be selected because Poland does not want it. Well, then hand it over, damn it. That's so that's so stupid. Same thing with Kirkalisi. Cannot be selected because Poland doesn't want it. That's so dumb. <laughs> that is so dumb. That's okay though, because I have coffee. Vassalize Serbia? We might. It's probably better than getting all that aggressive expansion all at once. Still can't marry. Oh, I did marry Aragon. Okay. I'm just going to go siege stuff. I don't think I can get his allies out of the war. Eighty-five. We can do better than that. And Armenia. Cannot be selected because Poland does not want it. Oh, we could we could carpet siege, but I don't want to get caught with my pants down. You know, that would suck. The Levy. In time, many of the everyday occurrences in the life of Arbacilius and his predecessors has become the subject of ceremony. Being able to attend the bedroom of the ruler as he dresses, for instance, is considered by many to be the best way to gain the ear of the Basilius. An elaborate court life will, event will certainly limit the power of our nobles to plot against us in their countryside properties, but it could also prove quite expensive. Denying them the right to be part of the day life of Arbacilius entirely on the other hand would also limit their influence but the nobility would likely resent it okay keep it at a modest level they lose loyalty spend money to get prestige and possible advisors gain loyalty lose influence national taxes go down for 25 years that's terrible or just lose loyalty and influence lose prestige um i don't need to lower their influence so i guess i'll just do that Gosh, their loyalty is at 25. It's gross. Gross!
Yeah, carpet sieging is not possible while there's still battles like this going on. Why is it low enthusiasm already? That was quick. That was real quick. But we only have 38 war score, which is pretty crap. See, the problem is all these all these battles are taking place and the armies are scattered, right? There's an army there that's still retreating. There's an army here that's still retreating. Uh, there's an army that's trying to come back. This one's trying to come back. But the battles are just happening, you know, sporadically. They're not like one after the next after the next. And they're losses. And every time you lose, you just have this shattered retreat that takes a long time. So it's hard to get uh, armies, you know, in the right place to fight the battles that you want to fight. It really is. Like, I think my army's next on the chopping block, so I might just run away to Georgia. Uh, you'll, you'll give me access, right, Georgia? You're a bro. Running to Ankara. Let's see if we can get away from them. No, he's trying to fight me. All right, I'm going to go the other way. That's not good. Lost our marriage with Poland, huh? Let's get it back. Oh, Morocco's over here now. Yeah, that's the thing is they're all they're all bringing bullshit troops over. I'm going to go get Biga siege down. I need Biga to make sure we can still cross back and forth. Very important province. Did I get it? There we go. Okay, now they're sort of grouped up again. Is that Poland's army wrecking the Ottomans? Uh, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Not entirely. We have a tactics advantage here, and it's helping, but our morale is so low, I don't know if we can hold on. Maybe. It's a close battle. But yeah, that tactics advantage is huge. I think we've got it. We've got it. We got backup, too. Nice. Uh, diplomats. Do I need access here? Not really. Not now, anyway. Yeah, his allies do not want out of the war, unfortunately. I wish they did. Yeah, I think at this point, I'm just going to go to my capital and chill. Our war exhaustion is pretty fucking high. Um, I don't really need to pop it down, though. Not yet. Alright, get out of here. Relax. It'd be nice if I could piece out these guys individually, but they don't want to. Like, look at Tlemcen. 45 enthusiasm. He hasn't done anything in the war. Okay, Morocco's at medium. What do you say, Morocco? White piece? No. Negative 17 reasons for peace. Okay. Oh, hey, Tlemcen arrives. There you go. I think Lithuania is going to go fuck him up. Poland, did you get Tech 5? He did! Hey, Poland got Tech 5. Good for you, Poland. But you know what? We're out of time for the episode today. Thank you for joining me, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. 
First war with the Ottomans, so far a smashing success. Uh, we should be able to peace out in the next couple years, I think, uh, for a moderate peace deal. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.